Oh, it feels great. That's such an honor. It, I mean, it's, it's quite a, a huge honor for me. I've never. This is something that I've always looked up to, and, and being recognized by your peers and being uh, uh, nominated with this guy over here, receiving the award here, is quite the honor because he's such a remarkable uh, craftsmanship for his his work. Can you talk about crafting the detailed hair and makeup for House of Gucci? Say that again? The, can you talk about the detailed hair and makeup for House of Gucci? Uh, sure. Crafting I, it? I mean, you want to talk about Jared? I can tell you about Jared. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, was, that was going to be a question. I, I always talk about how little time I had compared to him. <laughs> no, <but. laughs> you know, the thing is that we both worked during COVID and restrictions and, and being confined and not not typically what we would normally do and work in groups and it was quite different from a normal film production mm -hmm. where we normally work in like groups and we have uh, you know feedback from everything everything was done like really confined and and it limited time or in my case I had six months and you had two months. three weeks <laughs> <laughs> right so well, you made Jared disappear. Yeah, well, I made character. I made Jared. I did I, I did basically one makeup that was going to be in the film mm -hmm. with small alterations, and you did like I don't know how many fifty four hairstyles, and yeah. so it's a huge difference from what we did. But mm -hmm. but uh, now it was an interesting challenge, and it was really really difficult. Uh, and it's it's such an epic big film with such great actors and an amazing director. So so it it puts a little bit of pressure on you when you get to do something like that. Mm -hmm. But now was fantastic. Can you talk about working with Lady Gaga? She's an iconic style figure yeah. in the house. Well, that was the, what was the biggest obstacle was kind of removing all the iconography of Lady Gaga um, and and kind of designing or curating uh, hairstyles that or and, and makeup looks that would change and 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 become like Patricia Reggiani. Mm -hmm. So. During all the six months of prepping, we would try, we tested so many different types of looks and so many different size styles, and uh, landed upon uh, referencing uh, a f famous Italian actress by the name of Gina Lodo Of course. Yes, and so that was a jumping-off point to creating the 54 hairstyles in the movie. Absolutely. Yeah, so it was a pretty challenge, big challenge, but uh, you know, it was fun and it was uh, it was quite the experience, and uh, it was. The whole thing was just a really great masterclass of like characterization, you know. And how is she to work with? I mean, I've been working with her for 15 years, so it's just quite. She's more like family now, rather than working together. But we still share the same type of work ethics and share the same type of passion for creativity and art. What's next for you, gentlemen? Oh, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm uh, I'm having a good break, just so I have time for this. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need <laughs> dinner. dinner. I've been up since like you know 6 a.m. and we're like, but um, we have the tour that we just announced for mm -hmm. the Chromatica tour for Lady Gaga. That's this summer. It's 10 uh, countries around the world, and that's pretty major. And when big. does that launch? That's coming in July. July. That's the first exciting. show date, and then. Um, who knows what's the future? Uh, you know, we have so much. We just we have so much to plan and so much to do, and so much things happen in the world that you know. It's better to live present day time, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Well, you can live presently tonight and get some great awards. Oh, thank well you. Well deserved, Joan. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.